Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 19 editing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new feature called Color Slice. Uh, this is actually a really useful feature for a lot of colorists out there that need to isolate certain colors because what this allows you to do is it automatically detects the colors and isolates them so you don't have to spend a lot of time going in and using your qualifier to isolate certain colors. So let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve and let me show you what the color slice actually does and how it works. So I've opened up uh, DaVinci Resolve, of course, and I've just got this clip here loaded in. So it's quite a boring clip. Um, it already looks pretty decent. I've done a bit of a basic color correction to it, but um, there's this interesting character here on his electric bike. And as you can see, he's quite a colorful looking guy. Uh, he's got his red pants, red helmet. This is actually a perfect example to show you how the color slice works. All you have to do is just go into the color tab. So we're just going to go into the color slice. So this is the new icon here. So we're going to open up color slice and you can see there's quite a lot of adjustments that you can make. Uh, I know this looks a little bit intimidating, especially if you're new to DaVinci Resolve, but um, one way to look at it as a way to break it down is um, at the top here, you've got your global adjustments so you've got densities and all this sort of stuff i won't adjust these just yet because it'll make a lot more sense when i go into these individual ones so when we go down here you've got your red color you got your skin tone line you got your yellows your green cyan, blue magenta so it's pretty much got every part of the color spectrum i guess so um let's just go over to these icons here so you've got your reset button so if you go too far you can obviously hit the reset button and it will just bring everything back to pretty much zero but to the left you've got highlight so when you click and hold you get to see what this is affecting so go over to skin tones click and hold so yeah so as soon as you let go it'll just stop so to avoid that and if you want to be able to see what the colors are and you don't want it to jump back to your live preview you can just go up to the top here uh, make sure it's on highlight if it's if not if it's on something else just go to the arrow next to it and change it from image white or split to highlight and all you have to do is click highlight and then now it goes into the last one that you've clicked so i uh, click cyan so all i have to do is just click over to the different colors so as you can see it isolates quite a fair bit of the image um, so that's actually really neat so i'm just going to turn that off for now so right underneath the vector scope you've got center you've got hue and you've got your um, density slider and you've got your saturation slider um, saturation we all know what that is um, center allows you to let me just zoom in we'll go on, go to red go back up here we'll go to red so when i adjust the center left and right you can see that it's making adjustments so it's finding out where the red parts of the image so if it doesn't quite get all the red parts of your shot you can just go in and adjust the center, probably something like this, just because I wanna leave the skin tone on the skin tone line, so I'm not too worried about his face. I would adjust it there. Um, right underneath, you've got your hue. So this is your color. So this is essentially more so for creative effects. So if you wanna change it from you know red pants to purple, you can just do that by doing hue. We'll just keep it red for this one. And let's just go over to density. So density works a little bit different to saturation. So saturation, I guess, makes the colors pop and they're a bit more vibrant and bright. The density, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, the density goes from like lighter to darker. Yeah, it's really hard. It just deepens the colors a bit more, if that makes any sense. <laughs> We all know what saturation does. It just makes the image brighter. You can do a combo of both. So you can just deepen the colors a bit more, probably bring it back down to regular settings. So you can do that essentially for all the other ones. So to make this video quicker, I'm not going to adjust every individual color. I'm just gonna do one more color for you guys. So as you can see, it's got a quite a bright uh, jumper here. So this is obviously goes into the cyan. Uh, you can check it here so pretty much his jumper is going to be the main focus you do get a few other things like the um 
building in the background and the windows and the glass. But um, let's just make this a little bit more interesting. So let's just deepen it a little bit, make it a bit richer, can add a little bit more saturation to make it a bit more brighter. So I like the look of that. Yeah, so I'm pretty much happy with that. Um, so that's pretty much how you'll do it for each individual one. So you can adjust skin tones. So yeah, so you can, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of creative applications. If you're doing color correction, color grading, and you need to bring skin tones back, you can use this very quickly to, you know, change the skin color to make it more natural, especially if you're shooting in mixed lighting conditions. This could be very helpful instead of having to go over to the qualifier and, you know, selecting the color and then making adjustments here to get the color perfect. Uh, it does it all here for you. So I'm just going to quickly show you what the um, global adjustments do. So now let's go to density. And as you can see, all the stuff that falls into the separate colors, this will adjust them all at the same time. Change the uh, density of everything together. Density depth, uh, saturation of course, uh, saturation balance. If you look closely, especially in the reflections, it also does it in the reflections too. And everything else that kind of falls into the black and white does not get affected. So um, that's, you know, a really cool feature. That's basically it for this video. That is the color slice. As you can see, it's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to color correcting and grading, especially when you need to isolate certain colors to make adjustments on that. This new feature is going to make it so much quicker to achieve your film look and your creative look. So, um, yeah, it's really that simple to use. Yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.